everything in my life I equate to, was that pre-Kim or after Kim died? Because I'm totally living two different lives. I'm here to tell Henry's story and share my experience of how awful it is to bury your child. Ricky was actually at um, college when there was an outbreak. Kimberly's symptoms came on very quickly out of nowhere in high school. Comes home, has a fever, has body aches, and within hours she's in the ICU. Henry was developing a fever on Saturday, and within 36 hours of his first ER visit, he had a seizure. 36 hours later, declared brain dead. 24 hours later, he's an organ donor. At that time, Kimberly could not have been vaccinated because there was not a vaccine available to help protect against Men B in 2012. I am a parent who did not have my kids vaccinated when there was a vaccine out there. I did not know about the vaccine. I'm the person that didn't know about Men B and, you know, was lucky enough to be able to get the vaccinations for my kids. So I want people to be as lucky as I am. I'm a mom and I'm standing in between the awareness gap. Let's help protect against Men B so no mother has to experience what we did.